Linda Lodi is a 67-year-old woman who moved from Indonesia to Australia almost 50 years ago in search of a better life. Every Wednesday, Linda attends a 9am English class at the Mount Druitt Ethnic Communities Agency, known as Mecca. Situated in the heart of Greater Western Sydney, the Independent Centre has existed since 1991. Classes run twice a week across two of the centre's buildings. Around 30 people attend these classes, almost all from refugee or migrant backgrounds. Linda is known by her classmates as a very enthusiastic participant and believes that these classes have really made a difference. So from here I can learn how to writing, how to listening, so this is very good for me. Moving to Australia during her teenage years, Linda found the HSC especially stressful. When I come home to study English, maybe tech, maybe people only take one hour to understand what I have to do, how many days to understand. When it came to finding a job, things didn't get any easier. They are telling me, need the local experience. But if you don't give me the job, how, come, how can I can have local experience here? It is based on these stories that Mecca decided to run the classes hoping to equip their visitors with the skills needed to enter and remain in the Australian job industry. According to the Bureau of Statistics, those who have arrived into Australia in the past 10 years are 13% more likely to be unemployed than those born in Australia. Holly Corp is an operations coordinator at Mecca. She believes that the group plays a key role in assisting with the major employment issues facing new Australians. Everyone is different and trying to access old records and uh, trying to marry up the, the qualifications from overseas. And it's a really difficult process. Um, often this means that people who have exceptional skills and exceptional qualifications end up working in positions that are much lower than what their skill level is. Nazmin Ismail also attends Mecca's classes. Born in Afghanistan, she was a teacher before the rise of Al-Qaeda forced her to flee to Australia in 1998. Since moving, she has found it virtually impossible to find work due to a permanent injury. After that, uh, both of shoulder is uh, thrown. Uh, we can't work. Centrelink gave me disability. It doesn't work. Over the next 18 months, Mecca's work will become even more crucial with the New South Wales government projecting a 39% increase to its refugee population, many of whom will be relocated into Western Sydney. And what advice did the Mecca visitors have for new refugees seeking work in Australia? Talk to the people, don't feel you are uh, lost confident. You know, you have to keep confident in, in yourself. I want to keep government uh, uh, help but the re refugee refugees very good people and all people in here is very help help us people with Mecca keen to preserve its status as a community driven organization they also hope to become a peak body for western city residents and refugees for many years to come this is especially significant considering the increasingly diverse nature of the region keith parker reporting for on the job